Hello and welcome to a new episode of the European Traveler. In this episode I want to take you with me on a journey to hunt the new hydrogen train of the Austrian Railways, also known as ÖBB. At the moment the Austrian Railways are testing new trains such as battery powered trains and hydrogen trains for use on their unelectrified routes around Austria. And since I've been sitting around in home office for way too long now and I needed some reason to get out, um, I thought to myself, well, why not try to get some photos of the hydrogen train? That would be cool adventure. So I traveled to Wiener Neustadt and tried to find the train and take pictures of it. With Wiener Neustadt being just about 30 minutes away from Vienna, the journey of course took me first to the capital city of Austria. As a big advantage for many rail fans, BBB published a timetable for the testing of the hydrogen train online in advance. I don't have recorded a proper intro for this video and I do a voiceover instead because basically my whole planning was turned upside down pretty quickly and I did not know until the very last day whether I would manage to take the photos I wanted to take but let's start at the beginning. Since I wanted to try out what it is like to ride a hydrogen powered train I scheduled my journey such that I could take the hydrogen train from Vienna to Wiener Neustadt. However, when standing on the platform, there was quite a bit of a surprise. At first I was confused and thought that the diesel-powered train that had just arrived uh, would leave before the hydrogen train would arrive. But then I realized that this was actually the train I had planned to take. After a quick talk with a very friendly conductor, it became clear to me that it was indeed the right train, but that the hydrogen train had experienced some issues during testing and was unfortunately out of service. Nevertheless, the ride was stunning and the landscape was just impressive. I like the old trains as well, because they are very comfortable and offer much legroom. Much more legroom in fact than most of the modern trains. Also they allow you to pull down the windows and after a nice ride through the lower Austrian plains, I arrived in Wiener Neustadt. Wiener Neustadt is a very important railway junction. No less than five rail lines are meeting here and it is a central node in an even more extensive network of rail lines that connect this region of Austria. There is for one the Austrian Southern Railway. For one it connects the capital of Vienna with the Mur Valley and Graz, the second largest city in Austria and capital of Styria. Additionally the Southern Railway connects Vienna with Klagenfurt, the capital of Carinthia. Then there is the Pottendorfer Linie, which basically acts as two additional tracks for the Southern Railway between Wiener Neustadt and Wien, allowing to run more trains between those two cities. Additional to those two main lines, there is the Asbankbahn, which is divided in an inner Asbankbahn from Vienna to Wiener Neustadt and an outer Asbankbahn from Wiener Neustadt to Asbankmarkt. The outer Asbankbahn also connects further to the eastern part of Styria. Additional to that, there is the rail line to the city of Mattersburg and another two regional rail lines to Buchberg and Gutenstein. So as you can see Wiener Neustadt is very interesting for rail fans and there's many different lines and different types of vehicles around. 
All the regional rail lines are not electrified. So you can see why ÖBB is testing their hydrogen train in this region of Austria. I was staying in Wiener Neustadt for four days and with the hydrogen train out of service I had to rethink my planning and spent most of the time along the Alta Asbangbahn. At this point I want to give a huge thanks to the people of BBB who patiently answered my questions on Twitter and told me that on Monday I should try again to find the hydrogen train. On Monday the hydrogen train was scheduled to run on the line to Buchberg am Schneeberg. So I went to the main station in Wiener Neustadt on Monday and I was kind of disappointed to see another diesel train running. However, I decided to still stay on the Buchberg line anyways since I could record videos there as well and take some cool photos and I have spent basically the last three days alongside the Asbangbahn so it was time to get a new perspective anyway. The station in Puchberg am Schneeberg is also the starting point of the so-called Schneebergbahn. It is a rack railway that goes up the Schneeberg. And yeah, the normal gauge railway and the rack railway have the same name, they are both called Schneebergbahn. And this is due to the fact that the rack railway was planned as being an extension for the normal gauge railway. And basically both railways were planned in one go. Given my assumption that the hydrogen train was out of service again, I was even more surprised and happy to see it arrive at Buchberg station. I realized then that I made a mistake when looking up uh, the times in the timetable and I made the same mistake twice. This was probably due to the fact that the departure in Buchberg is always at uh, minute 36 and in Wiener Neustadt at minute 37 but it's one hour apart. So I mislooked in the wrong line and basically mixed up the two trains. Nevertheless, I was quite happy to finally have achieved the goal of my journey. And I searched for a good photo spot and took some more videos and photos. And now I stop talking and let you enjoy the show. Have fun.
Well, yeah, this is the end of the video again. I hope you enjoyed it and found it interesting. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Uh, give me a like if you want to get notified about new videos. Subscribe to the channel. And I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Bye.